In this video, you will see how to add a new software application package and or hardware module to an existing REX 640 relay. The modification sales process supports the change in functionality of a relay that's already been delivered from the factory. This means that new software packages can be added and new hardware installed on existing relays. The steps for adding software or hardware packages are Contact the sales representative. If updating hardware, install any hardware modules required. Connect to the relay in PCM600. Run the update using the software update file provided. Update the relay's license. Take the new functions into use utilizing PCM600 and verify the update by checking that the new functions and any inputs and outputs appear. We're going to show you how to carry out each of these steps in detail. Let's start by looking at adding hardware. To purchase both hardware and software licenses, the owner contacts a sales representative with a description of the planned modification and the relay's serial number. The new hardware model is delivered with a new license for the relay. Hardware modification instructions are included and explain the required tools and information needed to physically install the hardware module. Before installing the module, disconnect the relay's auxiliary voltage and make sure that you are carrying out modifications on a de-energized feeder. Follow the instructions to install the module. Use the Relay Module Modification table in the Modified Product document to make sure that the module is being installed in the correct slot. Once installed, replace the existing product labels with the new ones supplied in the delivery. Once the new hardware module has been installed, you will notice that the relay is in internal relay fault state. This is because you need to update the software and license in order to use the modified relay. The process for installing software for a new hardware module is the same as the process for adding an extra package to the relay software. Let's see how this is done. The software package is delivered as a .cab file. To install the software, connect to the relay in PCM600. Then right-click on the relay and select Update IED. This will start the update wizard. Select the update file by clicking Browse and navigating to the .cab file. You may need to change the file view settings so that you can see all file types. Click Next and then click Next again. Click Update to start the update. This will take several minutes. When the update file finishes, you need to run the license update. Make sure the Start License Update Automatically box is ticked, and then click Close to start the license update. The IED Update function only unlocks the new functionality. You also need to update the relay configuration to enable the new functions so that they can be used. To do this, enable the required function in the relay by using the Application Configuration tool. You can also use other tools, such as the Graphical Display Editor or Signal Matrix, to further tune the function use. Once the function has been enabled, you need to write the new configuration to the relay. Do this by right-clicking on the relay and then select Write to IED. Lastly, you need to verify the update on the relay's LHMI display. If it is updated, you will see the new functions appear in the menu. To check this, browse through the menu and select Parameters, and then Settings. Here you can see all configured functions listed. For new hardware modules, open the Application Configuration tool and check that the new hardware channels are showing as available, which means that they are no longer grayed out and their outputs can be selected. Let's finish by recapping the steps involved in adding new hardware or software packages to a relay. First, contact the sales representative with the desired modification and the relay serial number. 
once the hardware or software has been delivered. Install any hardware modules by following the provided instructions and replacing the product labels. Next, connect the relay in PCM600. Update the relay using the provided .cab file. Then run the license update wizard. Take the new functions into use. And lastly, verify the update by checking for the new function blocks in the library or checking that hardware channels are enabled.